Hello guys, well the weather has turned here in London, um, you can probably hear the rain outside the window, it's absolutely grim. But things looking a bit more positive for Arsenal, particularly on the transfer front. Stories last night breaking that Arsenal's uh, interest in Alexandre Lacazette and Monaco's Thomas Lamar is advancing. And that would be a really interesting uh, piece of business for Arsenal if they could bring in those two Frenchmen alongside Klasinac as well, the fullback. Three strong signings that would be. I mean, let's look at them in isolation. Lacazette, a pacey goal scorer, very reliable, continues to score goals at Lyon year after year, season on season. And if reports are right that Arsenal are intending to keep Olivier Giroud as well, they appear to have told Lyon he's not for sale. Giroud, Welbeck, Lacazette is three excellent centre-forwards, really. You won't have many better options. I know none are necessarily an Mbappe. You know, none are exactly a Suarez in terms of their calibre or their standing within the game. But they all have their own strengths. They're different. There's variety there. And there are, there are goals there, particularly from Giroud and Lacazette. As for Lamar, well, he's one of the players you'd be expecting to fill the positions behind the front man. Uh, creative player, brilliant set-piece delivery. He can beat a man. Young still as well, room to improve. So he'd be a good option if... Arsenal can keep hold of Alexis. I don't think it's plausible that Lamar could come in and replace Alexis's contribution or anything like it, in fact. If Arsenal can keep hold of Alexis, have Lamar there, rotating in and out of the side, learning his trade, adapting to the English game, which has taken time for all our, many of our best players have come over from France. Think of Robert Pires, had a nightmare for six months really in England before he really found his feet. Lamar will probably be the same particularly given his youth and inexperience. But if we can keep Alexis on the books, even if it means losing him for free at the end of the season, it just allows us time to bed in the likes of Lacazette, Lamar, and potentially be in a stronger position when we do lose Alexis. If we can keep hold of Meza Ozil, Alexis Sanchez, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain, and add Thomas Lamar and Alexandre Lacazette to that attacking formula, then I think Arsenal have had a good summer. If we lose Alexis, I'm not convinced that's enough. I'm not convinced it's enough star power. I'm not convinced it's enough guarantee of productivity. I think if he goes, he'll need replacing with a player of similar calibre because I think we'll be well sure otherwise. So if we can keep hold of him, keep him in the side and bring those additions in, I think that'll be a very positive step. Uh, I'm encouraged by these reports. I think these are good players. And I think while they might not be the £100 million players, they are still 40, 50 million pound players. They are the sort of players who could come into this Arsenal first team and improve it. But keeping Alexis is so integral at the moment. So all eyes on that situation, really. And I actually think that a lot of Arsenal's business, big business, probably won't be conducted until there is clarity on that situation. Even if it doesn't result in a move, I think internally the club have to know what Alexis' intentions are, what he's going to do this summer before they can really go about their business. But exciting times. Um, hopefully this Lacazette deal can move along soon. If Lamar is not far behind, that's great. And if he's chosen us over Tottenham, then that's going to endear him to the Arsenal fans straight away. Cheers, guys. Do subscribe.